Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to a brand new episode of Dine with World. Yes, it's your favorite cooking show because here we bring the most diverse cuisines, your most favorite uh, recipes and dishes right into the heart of your kitchen. And uh, as you know, every week we have very uh, experienced and talented uh, five-star chefs uh, from the Islamabad Marriott Hotel. Um, today we are going to dive into the rich, flavorful world of Italian cuisine. So whether you are a beginner or you're a seasoned uh, kitchen chef, Get ready to uh, cook with passion and let's embark on this cul culinary journey together. Uh, let's welcome uh, Chef Kabir. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm, I'm doing very well. Kabir joined us, um, uh, well, uh, I guess uh, many cooking mm -hmm. shows earlier. Um, he taught some really nice, easy, simple recipes which are uh, also easy on the budget and it doesn't take much time in the kitchen to prepare. Yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. So Kabir, before we go on, uh, let's just tell the viewers about yourself. Uh, my name is Kabir and my journey started when I was uh, I, I was starting uh, in college and I decided that I have to be become not a police, not a doctor. So I, I inspired by chef. Okay. So that's why I decided that I have to become And uh, how old chef. were you when you uh, came into this field? Uh, I was just only uh, uh, 24. 24. And so you joined uh, culinary school before this? Yeah, I uh, started my career uh, culinary school mm -hmm. from uh, Hashu Foundation. Mm -hmm. So I started from there and then I came here. And wow, because... Training. Right. I started here and then I start my journey from here. Because also. Kabir, it's, uh, it's still uncommon or people or parents don't really uh, understand, you know, they, they want their children to become a doctor or an engineer, right? But this is something that he followed his passion. He knew he liked, he loved cooking actually. You have to be very passionate about it. And you're happy. You don't regret this decision, right? No, I'm, I'm happy, but sometimes I become very... But that's with every, that's with, the, that's with every uh, profession. You know, yeah. whether you're... Uh, even in television, right? You can ask your producers. Yes, it gets very hectic. Um, but you are doing what you love to do. And any, any message you'd like to give to our youth or youngsters who want to join this profession would of you course, like to tell them anything now in this in this era you have to become a skilled man mm. it's if you are a woman if you are a man you have to be a skilled woman you are a skilled person yeah if you have something in your abilities you can do whatever you want yeah it's yes you have to recognize or you have to discover what you are really good at everyone has a gift and uh, our chefs here uh, realize that they this is what they want to do you know and that's why you're here and, and I hope you really you know progress and move forward in life of course yes, I'm Kabir. trying to become chef I think chef uh, is not an easy job it's not it's a very hectic cooking job cooking is and an very art it's, it's actually an art you have the it's not only about cooking and the flavor it's everything the way you present uh, the way you know the, the consistency and the flavor or, or the taste has to be there especially when you're in a five-star hotel in an authentic Italian restaurant you have to make the guests happy when they're the, when you they're here with you okay so uh, what is the first recipe we're making Kabir so we are making first of all everybody knows that salmon salmon we can eat raw cook whatever yeah. you want yes. as your wish yes so today we are going to make a salmon carpaccio Right. It's a thin slice, mm -hmm. it's very thin. Carpaccio mm -hmm. means very thin. Right. So we have to make a carpaccio salad oh, with some yummy. lemon dressing, some My cherry favorite, tomato yeah, and lemon dressing. So uh, to make this recipe, you will be needing salmon, 80 grams, lemon dressing, 50 grams, cherry tomatoes, 10 grams, shaved parmesan cheese, 20 grams, and green salad, 50 grams. Yes, uh, Chef Kabir, let's so, start. So let's start? Yep. Okay. Take a salmon, fresh salmon. Yes. Just peel off from the skin. So, would you like to give the viewers a tip when you're peeling salmon, or is it it's simple? It's very easy. Mm -hmm. First of all, we have to take the salmon. It's it's you have a sharp knife. Mm -hmm. That's it's very easy important. because. And I and also Kabir, like I've noticed, um, you know, when we're trying to shop, 
because I'm doing cooking shows, right? And I see you guys chop, chop, sorry. So I try to chop the same way and then I realize, okay, it, the, um, it's, it's not finely julienne cut. And I look at my knife, I'm like, maybe they have a finer knife or a thinner knife, correct? Of course. Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. So they have a set of knives. And the finer the knife, the more sharper it cuts. So you have to be very careful. And then we have to take the hammer and sheet, mm -hmm. whatever you have at mm -hmm. home. At home, we have used uh, yeah. cling cling. Okay. You can take the zip bag, you can open it and little bit ham. So not only is this uh, going to be very delicious, salmon carpaccio, but uh, as you all know, salmon is very rich in uh, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, so it's making it a very healthy uh, choice. So, salmon carpaccio, of course, is an appetizer. Um, you can serve it as a starter for a full Italian meal, uh, followed by a pasta dish. Or, if you just want to have something simple, light, you've invited someone over, over for dinner. Um, this is going to be very elegant. Oh, the lemon dressing. Can you please tell us how we make it? It's this? very easy. Mm -hmm. we, we take the lemon, squeeze the lemon juice. Mm -hmm. Then little bit, if you like mustard, you don't like mustard, no, no problem. You mm -hmm. can use salt, paper, garlic, mm -hmm. olive oil. If you're at home, you have yeah. olive oil. Olive oh, oil. Is this olive garlic oil. paste? No, it's not garlic paste. It's a whole garlic. Okay. You can chop it. Okay. And uh, if you have a blender, blend it together. It's, it's very easy to bake the sauce. Okay. But if you have no, no problem. You can chop the garlic. You can use slowly, slowly with the oil, mix it together well. Then your sauce become like this. Okay. We can't use garlic paste? No. We, why we use garlic? Because when we are putting... <laughs> the uh, simpler. Simple. <laughs> okay. So this is lemon dressing. Mm, looks very nice. Because uh, lemon have acid. So it will be uh, cooked if you put uh, some raw thing like beef. No chicken. Yeah. Because some people don't like chicken. Chicken have a... Uh, some bacteria. Okay. So it's very simple, everyone. Um, we um, check the salmon. We hammered it. Of course, we peeled it first. Hammered it. Uh, drizzled the plate with the lemon sauce, lemon dressing, lemon dressing. You take olive oil, lemon, zest of a lemon, garlic, salt, pepper, and mustard if you want. I think he's put in mustard. That's why you have that, that yellow uh, color to it. So salmon carpaccio is a modern dish that draws inspiration from traditional Italian cuisine, um, particularly from the classic beef carpaccio. Yeah, yes. that's where. Uh, that's why I already talked yeah. about the beef. I've had beef carpaccio and I loved it. So this is inspired from beef carpaccio. The original carpaccio was created in 1950s in Venice, Italy, by the gentleman who was the founder of uh, Harry's Bar. He invented the dish for a countess who was advised by her doctor to eat raw meat. That's how this uh, recipe originated. Wow, look at the reason. Hmm, I wonder why the doctor wanted her to have raw meat. Because that's why I say to you, uh, chef is also a doctor. Yes, <laughs> true. So salmon carpaccio, uh, salmon carpaccio is a contemporary variation. It became popular as raw fish. Uh, of course, it's gained a lot of popularity worldwide, which is why this recipe has gained a lot of pop popularity. Yeah, did I miss out on something? You drizzled this with lemon dressing? Or yes, we put lemon dressing because uh, it will be a little bit cooked. 
-hmm. and we are going to uh, make the salad. Okay. So, if you if you don't want to use uh, Roman lettuce, you can use lettuce, okay. salad leaf, also. Romaine lettuce, I think, this is darker yes. than normal, and it's it has less water than this than the normal lettuce, correct? Yeah. Lettuce have little bit. If you put it's in the water, mm -hmm. it's crunch. But it's when you put in the uh, water, it's mm -hmm. become like a uh, dark color. Okay. okay. But we use mix together. Right. So yeah, if you call in guests for dinner, or it's a dinner for two. And if you if you're not really fond of raw fish, you can use beef, correct? Yes. Raw beef or but yeah, if 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 someone doesn't want raw, they can just slightly cook it. No, no? lemon have already. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Raw beef is a uh, you know uh, when we cook the beef it's become shrink and hard. Right, 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 right. And you then eat, it won't be nice. Right? Yes. So, uh, Kabir, when when we uh, marinate beef with the lemon dressing, are you saying this will make the it will be a little bit cook, uh -huh. not raw. Yeah, it'll be softer, I guess. Softer, easy to yes. chew. Easy to mm. cook. Wow. So cooking itself has an entire science and logic to it. These are cherry tomatoes. Yes. Especially when you're in a fine dining restaurant, the chefs have to be well, very particularly careful correct yes uh, uh, that's why fine dining restaurants I think that it's it's so important to measure the ingredients honestly Kabir like we in the kitchen we don't measure the ingredients but the at whole home, secret at home we hmm. never do this yes we don't but because here you have to measure everything we have to measure everything because we we have look some something we have to look because chef knows everything mm -hmm. Because I think the chef should know about the ingredients. Yeah. If you don't know yeah. about the, the pinch true, of salt true, and true, every, true. everything of ingredients, yes. you have to know about that. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. And this is olive oil. Wow. I think after this salad, I wonder if you have room for the main course because this looks very rich, but very flavorful and healthy. Olive oil and raw fish. Lovely. So if you've just joined in, we uh, have Chef Kabi with us. He works in Zigulini, uh, the authentic Italian restaurant at the Slam of Marriott. Can you pass the cheese? Yes, please. This so one? On, on seafood, uh, we never we use cheese. cheese. Exactly, we don't. But especially in Carpaccio, uh -huh. if you want, cheese is for the seafood, never put cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, of course, they have dairy and seafood yes. doesn't go together. Yeah, but it's on your choice. Okay. If you want to put, you can put. Okay, right. So if you want, we will cut very thin slice. Chef Kabir, this looks so pleasing to the eyes. It's like I'm eating it with the eyes, but that's that's what food is all about, you know. The, the presentation it has to first appeal to you, and then you you want to dive into um, the dish and eat it. Kabir, thank you so much for this. What is the second uh, recipe we're going to make? We are going to make. Uh, it's uh, with the anchovies, but in Italian we call. Uh, 
Pen Kupinska. Okay, I'll just call it anchovies. <laughs> yeah, because, I won't be able to pronounce this. Because uh, we use uh, anchovy fish. Mm -hmm. yeah, because in, we are uh, we are in Pakistan, mm -hmm. so we never call like that. Yeah, but. We are going to make it, uh, it's mean, Putumiska means night of the lady. Oh wow, looks so, like a very rich dish, night of the so, lady, okay. Because uh, you know, at home, the ladies are going to cook yeah. everything. Yeah. So that's yeah. why it's called uh, okay. Pene Putumiska, because the ladies make, it's very simple, very easy. Okay. And easy to cook. Right. So let's dive into the ingredients to make pen pasta with anchovies you will be needing. Olive oil, 1 teaspoon, garlic 10 grams, basil 5 grams, capers 10 grams, anchovies 20 grams, onion 20 grams, tomato sauce 100 grams, salt and black pepper to taste, pen pasta 140 grams and cheese according to your taste. So one version of the story suggests that the dish originated uh, in the Spanish quarter of Naples. It's a very vibrant city. Uh, it was allegedly created by a cook who late at night was asked by hungry people to throw whatever was in the kitchen. Um, you know, he said he didn't have many ingredients and they said, whatever you have available, just make something. So it's a very quick recipe, correct? Yes. And uh, if you're busy and if you've just come home from work, you don't know what to cook, try this recipe. That's Let's why start. I say yeah. to you, Yeah. that's why I say to you that Pene Ala Putaniska. Pene Ala Putaniska. Let's start, Kabir. Shall we start? Yep. Okay. Put a little bit salt in a bowl here. What can you help me? Yes. Kabir, yes, I forgot. He always asks me to help him. <laughs> oh, uh, little bit. Just a little bit. Oops. Yes. Never no. mind. No it's problem. Okay. <laughs> little bit. See, you need to have a spoon. I'll put it. Okay. Yeah. Then put layer pasta first. This is penne pasta. Penne pasta. You can make in spaghetti, penne, rigatoni, linguine. Okay. Whatever you want. It's it's up to you right. which pasta you want. Right. Okay. So little bit pan will be hot. Then we add olive oil. So this uh, recipe is actually very popular in Italy because it has strong savory flavors uh, and it's made in many Italian homes and in restaurants. Mmm, that's interesting. So I think the sauce is slightly different yeah. than the it's, traditional it's sauce. It's very light, mm, light sauce. Okay. We never have like a, we make a, a cream sauce in homes where people, the children, especially children, always want more, I need white sauce pasta. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's also my it's, favorite. It's not, it's not a white sauce pasta. White sauce, no. it's red sauce pasta, but very light sauce. Okay. Not a rich of cream, rich of tomato sauce, okay. like this. Put garlic. Take an onion. Over the years, penne alla putinischia has become a symbol of robust, symbolic Italian cooking. Um, the philosophy is you can make this recipe any, out of anything. That's the whole philosophy, which is good. So this is a recipe you're following, but I'm sure people in Italy have, you know, they put in other ingredients as well. Every recipe is, have a different ingredient. Yeah. Not everyone wants like the same recipe. The same recipe, recipe too. Because the food is also invented by some persons. Because I am working in Italian, so I was uh, trying to find a different pasta. One of my friends, uh, he told me about the mango pasta. Wow, yeah, but it's that's also the, very, yeah. very nice. I'm sure it must be. I've never had it. Onion, then we add anchovies this is fish. Anchovies, okay. anchovies fish have little bit here on his uh, meat. Okay. Add some olives. Capers. Mmm, I can already feel the aroma. Anchovies are 
small saltwater fish. And they are commonly found in the Mediterranean Sea, in the Black Sea, Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. So they have a very intense salty flavor. What are you looking for, Kabir? I'm looking for the tremendous sauce. They put Here over there. Tomato sauce. Yes. Put inside. Entire all, thing? All, all, all. That's it. So you have to work with me like a, like a kitchen I'm, helper. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes you happy. Yeah, I would love to, you know, learn. A pinch of salt. Okay. Because uh, we have pinch of salt because already fish have also salty. Yes. Because anchovies have a uh, salty fish. Right. It's, it's not like that. And this is? This is parsley. If you want, if you want spicy, you can add chili flax. Okay. If you are a, uh, from Pakistan, from Asian. You can add it, lots of chili flakes. A lot of chili flakes, okay. yes. <laughs> If you want more aroma, you can put basil on it hmm. also. A cherry tomato also, if you want. And anchovies actually dissolve into the sauce, correct? They're yes. so soft uh, because they're so salty. Yeah. And then they put in brine or oil also, which makes it even softer. Shall we so go for I it? think which is why uh, anchovies are usually a secret ingredient. Yes. If you want to hide the recipe, the real ingredient, you just put anchovies and just dissolve it. Because after, without anchovies... The guests will be guessing, oh, why is this recipe so nice? But that's the secret ingredient. It's a, it's a very, you know, it's the same like our uh, lock recipe. Mm -hmm. If we, if we if did, did not have, so we can't yeah. say that yeah. the Potaniska. Yeah. Yeah. Because Potaniska is always called by the fish. Right. Shall we go for the pasta? Yep. I think it's going to take a little bit time. So the pasta is already done, right? Yes. Here you go. Like Chef Kabir said, you can also use spaghetti if you want. If you want. Whatever, which type mm. of pasta you want, it's up to you. Right. So we are making a pen pasta or penne a la putter. Put niska. It's Pot very difficult Pot to pronounce. Um, we added, uh, we'll just give you a quick recap of the recipe. Garlic, we sauteed, we added uh, anchovies, olives, Onion, capers. Olives, capers, tomato sauce, pepper, tomato sauce. If you want, you put uh, parsley, oregano also. Oregano, if you, if you want, parsley, salt, pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. And uh, pasta, wow. And this already looks very thick, the sauce. Yeah. And if you want to add cream, if you want to cream, because it's depending on your side. Okay, perfect. Whatever you want, you can. I like take. cream, Kabir. Yeah. <laughs> I use a lot of cream. Because most of the people in Pakistan, they like cream. <laughs> That's a simple answer. Because That's you're right. from Pakistan, Every, you have to put cream. <laughs> cream yeah. like, gives you a lot of fat. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, everyone yeah. in Pakistan wants to be a fat, <laughs> but not smart. <laughs> Kabir is very <laughs> smart. Uh, but I think Kabir is the one who eats the most. Correct? Yes. Cream, yeah, just gives a nice flavor, a rich flavor. And pasta itself is so filling, Kabir, you know. You just have pasta and you're good the entire day. Pasta is very quick and easy to make. When you are very hungry, you have nothing. Yeah, just that's go, what I do. Go to market and just yeah, boil the pasta. Yeah, that's true. Some of the pasta you can make with uh, olive oil and garlic yeah, also. Yeah. With the basil, cherry tomato, yeah. no sauce. Yeah. That's also very famous healthy. and uh, also very healthy. Can you pass me the spoon? Uh, spoon. I think you want to eat, you want to eat? No? I you do, don't I like can't, anchovies. I can't eat I can't eat seafood kabir. But it looks very yummy. <laughs> so it's very tasty, very healthy. So this is already done. So it's done now. We are going to plate it out. And little bit have uh, some garnish on the top. Mm. I think you must try, but you are allergic from the I'll try one. Food, I will try one pasta. One so tube you, you, of pasta. You, you like uh, spicy or you like I love normal? spicy. So, I think you uh, 
I should have to become. I'm the real Pakistani person oh, okay. who likes cream and spices. Okay. If you want spices, you can add it. Okay. Garlic. Lots of garlic we like. Yes. Now we have to take it out. Referring to the name of the recipe, it's uh, it means a quick meal. So if you're in a hurry, you decided to invite someone over, or you just feel like having pasta, this is the recipe: penne with anchovies or penne alla puttanesca, which means pasta on the go. This looks amazing, uh, Kabir. Wow. So your pasta and will be ready. And also, uh, the sauce is very thick. I think this is one of the reasons why it's also become very popular. Yes. Well, you it's know? a have a very light sauce. Mm. I already told you because uh, anchovies fish have. Then we put a lot of sauce. You cannot mm, eat yeah, the meat of can't. fish mm -hmm. because it's it's very very thin meat. So this is getting more exciting and more flavorful. recipe is beef with mushrooms. Beef with mushrooms, yes. Mm, this sounds very nice also. Uh, to make this recipe, you will be needing olive oil, one teaspoon, beef fillet, 200 grams, mixed salad, 50 grams, mushrooms, 20 grams, cream, around 80 grams. So Italian beef with mushrooms, uh, it's a classic Italian dish that combines tender beef strips um, with savory mushrooms, creating a rich, cozy meal and um, uh, the recipe, of course, uses thin slices of beef. That's the hallmark of this recipe. And um, it's cooked very quickly also. Let's start, Chef. Shall we start? Yep, yep. So can we pause it here? Yes. Here you go. So the cooking time isn't a lot because we want to retain the shine of the, the shine and flavor of the beef and mushroom, so we don't overcook it. Yes. So we start yes, now. Yes, yes, please. Take a little bit of oil. We take some oil and we add in the beef strips. This is, of course, tenderloin. Yes. It's called undercut also, undercut, you, can, yeah. you can call it. So, now I am going to ask you, you like uh, well done beef, medium well, because we are Pakistani, so Okay, medium so well, well done, rare. So which, which kind I don't of beef? like I don't like it when the beef is dry. No, it has to be nice and juicy, but not raw. But not. Oh. So I would say it's medium. Medium not, well. Medium well, yeah. That's what oh. I like. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. I also like medium. Yeah. Not medium well, but medium. You want to work with the mushroom? Sure. Can you cut with the mushroom? Yeah, thank you, Kabir. Of course. You, 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 you can hear or I can do uh, I can cut here. I'll cut it here. You can okay. Give me the chopping board. Uh, do I cut it? Um, uh, we'll switch position. It's okay. You can come there. Mm. So I do wear... You I take the mushroom. Take very thin slice. I'll, I'll, I'll just wear some. Let me see. Let me let's we see that uh, how they uh, how they, well I've I've they, been trained. 
Yes. <laughs> Seeing all of you cook, okay. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be finely, finely cut or just normal? Normal cut. But Let me first too, fix too my thick. fingers in, in these gloves. Okay, here you go. Normal. Right? Yes. This way? This. Of course. But make very thin. Little thin? Bit thin. Achha, yes. I'll do it. It's very soft. Wow. Yes. Is this good? Yeah, fine, fine. At home, I think you are not uh, using your knife. I right? I use I use a knife, but oh. this is sharper. Okay, okay. This okay. is sharper. So be yeah. careful then. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, but I like it. Hmm. It's sharp and nice. Good. Is yes. one or two enough? Yes. Right. Because <laughs> I was, I felt I'm uh, I'm in a test, and Kabir is going to mark me. Five out of ten. Five? Why? Why you give me five out of ten? Because your knife speed is very slow. Of course it's slow. So now this is, you see, juicy. Yeah, it's nice and juicy. Yeah, we will take it out. Hmm. Because if, if it is going to be cooked here, it's going to be hard. Now it's going to be cooked by its own temperature. Yeah, in, in its own heat. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of protein. So, yeah, button mushrooms, also known as white mushrooms, table mushrooms, they are the most commonly used mushrooms uh, all over the world. They have a mild flavor and Of course, um, I was looking for the nutri nutritional facts of button mushrooms. They are rich in antioxidants and they can help the protect the body from oxidative stress and inflammation. So yeah, they are used uh, in pizza toppings, in pastas, in salads, very versatile ingredient. Yes. They're low in calories. They are a good source of vitamins, uh, vitamin D, and uh, a lot of minerals, vitamin B also. Did we season the beef with salt and pepper? Of course. Okay. Otherwise, you have only the, the, the olive oil taste. Olive oil taste. Yeah. Can you pass me the spoon? Take a little bit of uh, water because otherwise it becomes very dry. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, these mushrooms have a very light flavor. Which mushrooms have a strong flavor, Kabir? We have a different type of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. We have black mushrooms, we have a dry mushroom, right. we have a porcini mushroom. And they, are, they have porcini mushrooms. mushrooms have more strong okay. flavor other than other mm. mushrooms. Now we have some cream. Cream. So now you're, you like cream, right? <laughs> so we're making in a cream. I think this this you will try and I will you, try you will like it. Yeah. This is only for and you. And also make it at home. Yeah, you can make it. It's, it's very simple, very easy. Yeah, you can is. buy it from it the is. market and yeah. well, the fresh mushrooms are available in a, any any anywhere yeah. in, the, in the big stores. Now add some. Add our beef before mm. we make it. Now you see. Yeah, it's 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 cooked in its own heat, which is why it's let out its juices also. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Can we 
made this actually looks really yummy. All, everything you made looks beautiful, but this looks really tempting. First we have to eat it from the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Then we eat how it it's mm. taste. But when you make with a smile, everything will become very nice, good. Yeah. Of course, cooking involves passion, a lot of passion. Yes. If you do not have passion, your if food won't taste well. I think that's the only thing in my book. Yeah. Even if you aren't a, a chef in a, in, a, in a kitchen, in a five-star hotel, even if you're at home cooking your, for your family, you have to have your heart in it, in anything you do, actually. So is adding the pasta water is going to thicken the, the sauce. That's one uh, tip for all of you, which I remember from the past chefs. Yes. <laughs> so can we pass the plate? Yes. We make the salad. So we are going to again make uh, with a lemon dressing. Kabir, how old are you? You are in your 20s? In 24, I have started. And so you are? How old are you right now? Now I am six years here. So that would be? I don't want to do maths. Hurry up, tell me. Six years. 30? 30. Yeah. He's 30 and he has a well, a long way to go also, but he's learned so much and his, his cooking and his presentation has a lot of finesse. But of course, once you are with different chefs, you learn and you keep on learning and it's something that goes on forever. Yes. It's not that you are the best, for, you know, you just have to keep on learning. You never And there's a time when, when, when you have to make your own recipes, yeah? We have to try to make our own recipes yeah. sometime. I consider my chef also. Mm. So Do you tell your chefs also? Yes. Yeah. That's very good. That's then, also very important. You have to stay in the game. You have to stay in, you know. Uh, the profession you are in, you may not be in Pakistan forever. You may go yeah. somewhere else. So you have to have an open mind. You know? So it's done now. We are going to plate it out yeah. and let's see. And after then you will give me the marks. I'll hmm? give you the marks? Yeah. Okay. You're in my show, of course I'm going to give you full marks. Otherwise? No, of course I'd, uh, you know, I, I, we look at everything, the, the, the hard work, the effort. Everything counts in this, so it's 10 out of 10. Chef, this sauce tastes really nice. And you know, we haven't added much ingredients to this. This is the most amazing part. Yes. What did you add? Let's go through this again. For, few, for those of you who have missed out, this sauce is amazing. Yeah. We add garlic. Yeah. And saute the mushroom. Yeah. Olive oil. Yeah. Salt and pepper and a little bit of cream. So I think it's the flavor of the mushrooms also? Yes. In the cream, in the sauce? Yes. It First is because we, we saute the mushrooms with the garlic and mm -hmm. olive oil. Mm -hmm. When it becomes a flavorful, then we add cream and straw. Yeah. Then it becomes more tender, more flavor, yeah. enhancing the flavor also. Right. Because when we use a fresh mushroom, it's, it should be have a very good taste in a flavor. And then we add garlic, then they become the aroma is double. So after then you will taste it. Imagine 
it does it has only two three ingredients in yes. it oh. garlic uh, mushrooms, mushrooms and cream and cream that's and a little it. bit of pasta water yeah and salt if you have a stock at home you yeah. can use boiling chicken water stock. Oh. chicken stock vegetable stock whatever really nice. is at home and it was so simple to make so if you want to invite your friends family for a lovely authentic different dinner or an intimate meal this is uh, simple to make it's full it's a strong robust flavor full main course uh, and it's absolutely delicious thank you so much kabir thank you i hope you enjoyed today's uh, episode i always say this whenever i close the show but today i really enjoyed um, this show i l really enjoyed learning and what chef um, uh, kabir had to make uh, they were very different recipes very simple recipes but that doesn't undermine the flavor it was the flavors of every recipe were uh, strong um, and uh, they just make you happy you know when you eat food that's that's the whole point of uh, of cooking and bringing the show to you and bringing our chefs from the Islamabad Marriott so that you in the kitchen um, you can enjoy your cooking and when you serve uh, the meat to your family or your friends you know they just love you for for all your hard work and passion uh, before we end the show uh, thank you so much Kabir it was right. lovely having you here so this is how uh, the show begins you know we call the chefs up oh where are you and they run and they come they're relaxing at home of course it's you know the weekend uh, so thank you so much. I thank know it requires lots of effort and all, um, but we really respect you for you know coming here and for teaching us what you know. I'm going to catch you next week with another new episode of Dine with World. Till then, always keep on smiling. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.